welcome to the Master of Unlocking 2020 Game Preview Podcast. It is still 2019. Is the gala over? The gala's over. Oh. Yeah, okay. gala's over. We're, I've taken that suit and tie off, and we are done. <laughs> Undo your tie. You, you were already pantsless, and so now you're just sitting here naked? Just <laughs> full nude. Just straight nude. I was going to act like we were going to release this, like, you know later or something but <laughs> it's fine it's weird that he painted himself blue like mm-hmm. he blew himself he blewed himself yeah mm-hmm. blew himself now he's now he's dr manhattan over there yeah just wang and all just swinging d all right uh we are going to go through uh the 2020 video game release list as of now um and see kind of what we're excited about what we're not so excited about and how shitty our march is going to be uh, so Caleb, you want to start us off here with maybe some games that are coming out in January, if any, that we'd be interested in? I'm looking at this list. There's not a ton in January. Um, uh, I, one thing I saw at least was Brain Age is coming back. I kind of liked that. Dr. Kawashima's Brain Training? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, it's a uh, Brain Age. You remember that on the DS at all, where it was like this weird head of a that guy? Says, that date says EU next to it, though, so oh, I'm not sure if that's... Yeah, I think we are maybe waiting on a US release of that. So, ah, shoot. <laughs> um, we got uh, to- Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE uh, comes to Switch on January 17th. That was a Wii U release, right? Yeah, and I really like that game a lot. Oh, okay. I'm not going to play it again, but if I'm glad that it gets the opportunity to reach more people because nobody had a Wii U. So, mm-hmm. uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Oh, yeah, I forgot that's coming out. You uh, played uh, that at PAX. Yeah, it wasn't great, but yeah, okay. since there's re- literally nothing coming out, maybe I'll gamefly that. Mm-hmm. Other than that, not a ton. There's a Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. somebody's excited about that. <laughs> um, so I think there's supposed to be a good amount of content there. So, okay. Uh, any February then? Uh, Jason, you want to look at February with us? I already no? did. Okay, anything? Uh, it looks like there's a remaster of um, Devil May Cry 3 coming to the Switch. If you only own a Switch and you haven't played Devil May Cry 3, that might be worth a look. I think that's the strongest of those first three games in the ranked order of three, one, two. I have played mm. one and four and five. I have not played three. Three's or pretty two. good. But two, I've heard is, two is two is yeah. two is not great. Worst. Four is really hard. Um, yeah. Uh, there's a Dark Siders Genesis game coming out. That's oh. already out, actually. Oh, on it PC. is. Oh, on PC. Yeah. Okay. It's like a top-down uh, dungeon crawler thing. Mm. Uh, there's also a Marvel Iron Man VR. I played that at PAX. That was actually decently fun. Okay. So um, I might figure out a way to play that somehow. A lot of um, remasters and mm-hmm. ports and stuff in February here. Yeah. Two Point Hospital is not bad. It's a hospital sim game. Hmm. Coming to consoles in February. Got it. Uh, the One Punch Man game has a really interesting mechanic. Have I told you about this? No, I yeah. don't know anything about it. So do you know the concept of One Punch Man? I assume he punches somebody one time and they're dead. Yep. I don't know. Okay. Yep. You yeah, got all it. Right. Yep. <laughs> uh, and so you'd think like a fighting game with One Punch Man would be insanely, he'd just be like broken, right? Because mm-hmm. he punches somebody once and the fight's over. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's a, it's a 3v3 fighting game. Um, so like when one of your characters dies, then the next one comes in and then the next one comes in and Saitama, Saitama, the one punch man, uh, Mm -hmm. you can only pick him as your third character. Um, and he's running late to the fight, which fits in pretty well with the anime actually. Yeah. So if, if you pick him as your third character and the other person knocks out your first two in a, like before the timer goes out, then you just lose. But if he if he shows up, if you stall out long enough for him to show up, it really is one punch and the opponent goes down, <laughs> hmm. which I think is kind of a cool way to do that. Interesting. Yeah. Um, going into March here, at least this list, um, we have Final Fantasy VII Remake, March 3rd, uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisp, March 11th, uh, which has been delayed multiple times, uh, Neo 2, March 13th. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Animal Crossing New Horizons, March 20th. And not an Animal Crossing guy. I'm going to check that. I've not out. Yeah, you. played much of Animal Crossing, mm-hmm. so I'm going to check this one out. Okay. Uh, Bleeding Edge, uh, March 24th. That is the Ninja Theory weird battle. Some It's like a 
PvP combat game, I think, right? For I don't know what that is, honestly. I think it's yeah, it's something. It's it's a Game Pass thing. So since it's Game Pass, it'll be free to check out and everything else. You uh, you skipped Doom Eternal too? Oh, I did. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, Doom Eternal, March twentieth. Um, I think I thought I was skipping over Doom sixty four. Oh, <laughs> and, so, and we skipped. Doom. They're yeah. right next to each other. They are right next to each other. Uh, so yeah, Doom Eternal, another big one there. And Persona Five Royal is March thirty first. I uh, want to play that so bad, but there's so many other. I th- will there be something in the summer, or maybe a lull in the summer. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like maybe there's is going to be a not. I don't know. Because then three days after that is Resident Evil Three. Yeah, um, April third, and then we've got Cyberpunk 2077 on April sixteenth. Uh, um, I, I have another uh, Porta Trials of Mana. Uh, Predator Hunting Grounds, which whatever, uh, on t- April 24th, they, Sony was hyping that up, but I don't know, we'll see. Uh, Gears Tactics, which says PC, which I, I thought that was going to come to Xbox One too, but maybe that is just going to be a PC only game. It maybe, uh, maybe to launch it'll be PC and then later. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I want to, I want to play that too. Yeah. And then Minecraft Dungeons, none of us play Minecraft. Yeah. Um, I, I, sorry, I did two months. Caleb, you want to do, uh, May for us? uh avengers <laughs> no I, I, <laughs> boy everything i've seen of that game doesn't look great but uh, who knows um last of us part two may 29th i think we're all looking forward to that mm-hmm. and then i am actually very curious about fast and the furious crossroads that trailer looked so bad but in a good way i don't know <laughs> man that game could be i don't know what but um God, uh, Jason, do you want to look at, did you look through this, er, this other, we've got some unannounced timelines of things of like early 2020, anything jump out at you at all on this list? No, um, uh, yeah, this early 2020 list, I don't really see much. It seems like a lot of just stuff I've never even heard of. Should we we just say we're looking at the VG 24 seven? Yeah. Release dates. Mm -hmm. Um, well, anything, uh, Q3 in summer looks pretty loaded here. Jason, what are you seeing from this list that's catching your eye? I'm thinking Ghosts of Shoshima mm-hmm. still looks really strong, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, and what was what was the game you were saying that it reminded you of? You were getting some vibes from Oh, something. Bushido Blade. Bushido Blade. Yeah, Bushido Blade, where it's just the first person to mess up is the one that dies. So that, yeah, that kind of reminds me of that kind of idea. Um, Axiom Verge coming to the Switch in the fall. Good for Axiom Verge. Oh, did you see that they announced Axiom Verge 2? Really? Yeah. It's not on, I don't think it's on this list, but it's been announced. Um, Jason, or not Jason, Caleb, did you like Dying Light? Yeah. Uh, Dying Light 2 is supposed to be, sp- it says spring oh my God, so really? far. Yeah. Because um, that looks, that looked really cool from the demos that they've shown. Uh, let's see what else in the fall. Uh, Halo Infinite's probably going to be a launch game. I mean, yeah. We haven't had a Halo in years now, so that's my guess. Did you see a- their plan for that, though? Um, it doesn't matter which version you buy, you get it on everything. Yeah. So even if you buy the Xbox One, if it comes out before the the Series X launches mm-hmm. um, and you buy it on Xbox One, then when the Series X You'll launches, just you it. just get that You, you just, just get, get that, that version. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't heard and that. And it's not like a backwards compatible version it's like you get the new the upgraded version of it yeah because and that makes sense for them to have a cross-gen game like that um so that's that'll be good for them because yeah they're they're going to want to sell copies of that or just sell some game pass um which they'll i think is doing very well for them oh actually verse two is on here yeah it is uh, it's considered for the fall um and then other games expected in 2020 i mean we've got i mean in all reality we're probably not going to see a lot of these games until e3 of what's going to release in the fall. Right. I forgot that Watch Dogs Legion was uh, delayed. Yeah. It got Gods and Monsters, I think, was also one that got delayed. Uh, Streets of Rage 4. I'm excited for that. I played that at PAX. That was fun. Um, I got one I know Caleb is thrilled about. Mm-hmm. What's that? Deadly Premonition 2. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, if I could just get you guys to play Deadly Premonition, that'd be great. I have played it. All the way through? No. <laughs> no, he's gonna say that's uh as great as I love that game's story. I that gameplay is not very much fun. <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, I say I'm looking through this list too. I'm not seeing a ton of stuff. 
that is really jumping out at me. Uh, but I think we're going to see a lot of stuff that, uh, later on that's going to be, that might be a couple bangers for the end of the year. Uh, anybody know when Microsoft flight simulator is going to officially, I thought release? it was out. Maybe, maybe it's, it's just not like out. Beta or yeah. Something. I think there is a weird beta of it, but, um, uh, roller champions. Oh that yeah. Was a, that was actually Champions. a lot of fun. Super good. That was our game of packs. Um, maybe we should try to play that. The three of us should try to play. That we should. That game was a lot of fun. I mean, I like that game a lot. Um, no more heroes three. Oh, yeah, I'll probably you, check that yeah, out. You're a No More Heroes guy, that's for sure. Um, uh, they have these broken up so strange. Yeah, though. it's like, it is kind of weird. Um, and then there's oh, like, I I do. I've heard really good things about that SpongeBob SquarePants game. <laughs> oh, really? So I okay. kind of want to play the the re release of that. Mm. I was just looking through. They have a bunch of stuff listed for 2021 too. I see Ghostwire Tokyo is on that list. So I I didn't know if that had ever even been given any sort of. Is 12 minutes supposed to come out next year? I don't know. I haven't seen that anywhere. Okay. Um, uh, I just searched for it on this page, and it's not even on here. Oh, mm-hmm. no, it is. Okay. Uh, what is it under? It is under the 2021 and beyond. Mm, interesting. But, okay. I mean, it's, that was a, yeah, you never know what that, those kind of games. Uh, Psychonauts 2 is apparently going to be next year. Mm-hmm. I'm excited about that. There's a game just called Guts on this list and that better be some sort of Nickelodeon guts reference or I'm going to be very upset. And why haven't they made that game yet? Like why haven't they made a legends of the hidden temple game? Like those kind of things like that'd be pretty great. Oh, Wolf among us too. Oh yeah. Wolf among us too. Is that, it, that have a, a year? It's under the 2020 stuff. Oh, but sure. We'll see. There was a trailer that came out for that. Yeah. Yesterday, yeah. I think. Wasn't there? Mm. Oh, yesterday? oh, was there another one yesterday? I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering how close that game was to just being complete. So they might have just picked it up and f- finished it and decided to ship it. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you never know with that with studios that are closed and did everything else. Uh, Elden Ring is on this on one of these lists. That's the f- that's the From Software yeah. thing, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's in the Lord of the Rings universe. N- n- not it's not in that universe, but it's like similar. Okay. It's in its own thing. Well, but it's a George R. R. Martin thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's George R. R. Martin and From Software did something. So it's not Lord of the Rings. It's a, Well, and George R. R. Martin is Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, right. Yeah, I got it. I got my... <laughs> I get my high fantasy confused sometimes because I'm not into those things. So, um, okay. Well, I think we know what we're all super excited about and everything's in March and April um, between Cyberpunk and What Final would you fantasy say and, is both of your um, just single most anticipated thing for next year? If you have to pick one, uh, probably Final Fantasy VII. I don't feel like I know enough about Cyberpunk, right? Of how it's going to play to get excited about it yet. I think I'm going to like the world a lot. I just don't know if I'm going to like how it plays because I just feel like I don't know anything enough. I was going to say Final Fantasy VII, but just for the sake of being different from you, um, Resident Evil Three. I am as the the two remake was so so good that I have faith in them that they're going to remake three really well. I also want to say Final Fantasy seven. Mm. It's just it's been a long time coming, and what they're going to do? Oh mm. man! C- can I classify one thing? Yeah. Even though they call it remake, I- I'm not going to hold it to the remake clause of that I did this year because it seems like it's a completely different thing. You're waffling on this remake <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah. For as hard as you were on the Shadow Colossus thing, you're all over the place. With well, that. I think every year or two, it gets a little bit harder because there's so many things that just blend the line in between. Well, I feel like with the, the Shadow of the Colossus thing was kind of one for one. The RE2 stuff, ha- it was different gameplay and different gameplay, but a, but a similar, but the same story with a couple of added beats. Sure. The uh, the Final Fantasy VII thing seems like at this point, and you guys will have to correct me, is when it comes, is that the story is going to change a good amount. We'll see. We'll we'll see what it is, especially but. because this is only the Midgar portion, which is like the very beginning of that game. Right. So. We'll see what it is. Yeah, it, we the, might the be. stuff that 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 original game gets like shafted for in the story is late in the game, not early. So, mm. um, we'll see. 
Maybe they'll shrink the whole game down and make it some. Who knows what yeah. they're gonna do? Who knows? It's Square. They do some really dumb, weird stuff sometimes. Yep. That's what makes it part of what makes it so exciting, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm also excited for there's there was a lot of stuff this year that just kind of came out of nowhere too. So I'm excited for that first thing that like Twitter just goes crazy over that I hadn't even heard of before, you know? Because that stuff seems to be popping up more and more too. That like, yeah, this game really came out. What was that? Um, oh my gosh, I forgot what the game was. The game where you're on the boat. Um, Spirit Fair. Spirit Fair. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I didn't even yeah. see that on that list anywhere either. Like that was, I'll look and see if I can find it somewhere because I, I feel like it didn't have a... Uh, tw- just as 2020, but that, that game, I think looked really cool and I liked how it played and that's kind of another one of those weird games that yeah. we'll see how it does. All right. Well, that's all we know. At least I feel like we don't know enough about 2020. Yeah. Well, yet. with the new console, right? Yeah. yeah. I feel like they're, from they're, both companies. they're holding a lot to the, the vest there. I think we're going to see probably like the last of us two is going to end up, there's going to be a version out for the PS5 within yeah. at launch or very close after because there was I mean, that's what happened with the last of us one wasn't it was that they it wasn't a, launched but it was pretty close pretty close okay i was like oh yeah here's this version of it that would be if it'd be interesting something. to see these games in action at e3 finally yeah yeah what is the you know the fidelity is pretty high on these on these systems right now so like beyond uh lighting stuff mm-hmm. ray tracing but the first thing we've really seen right has been the senua senua thing right that's the first was that confirmed for the new I mean, it says yeah. in engine Xbox. but you know in engine cutscenes versus in engine gameplay or in engine of, means not cutscene right right well not cutscene is what that means that means n- not pre-rendered mm-hmm. right yeah uh and if that's any indication of what we're getting then that's exciting because that looked really good that, looked, <laughs> that was something yeah that's true yeah, yeah, but I'm excited to see more of that kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah, there's all these. There's I'm all excited these, to be excited. <laughs> yeah, there's all these games that are that are right at the end of this generation that are finishing up. You know, like Cyberpunk mm. and Last of Us. Yeah, and Final Fantasy. Those are the big like temple releases early on, which kind of fit nicely, like one last hurrah mm. on this on this hardware, and those in their own right look really nice. Yeah, Ooh. I just wish they were a little more spread out. That's all. Like if they were like, hey, could we get one in January, one in February, one in March? Like that would yeah. be nice. But instead of getting them all within a six, six week span from March to middle of April, that would especially be. if like if the console version of Disco Elysium comes out right in the middle of all that, then I'm never going to get you guys to play. Probably it, so. not. That's the worst <laughs> thing too, because yeah, I don't think there's a. We'll see how it goes. I, I haven't heard anything about a release date for that for any consoles. I, I know it's coming soon, but I don't know if this makes you guys feel any better or not. But as we go into new consoles, new console launches are always pretty rough from things to play on those systems. That's true. I There's mean, usually you, pretty sparse lineup out of both. Yeah. When you think about, I guess even like what would be some of like the the best launch, like like the best launch games for a uh, for a console. Like it's rare. You're talking to, ever, ever. Uh, I'd have to look at a list. I mean, the, the Mario is probably, I mean, your, your Mario, Breath of the Wild. Mario 64, Breath of the Wild was a big one. Um, I mean, even let's even just look at this last, this last generation. What came out that was a launch game that you guys were like, man, that was a really good game. Zoo Tycoon. <laughs> uh, Dead Rising 3 wasn't bad. Dead Rising yeah, 3 right. was a decent yeah. game. But it wasn't a great game. Rise was a graphics showpiece. Yeah. Mm. The PS4 launch and was rough. And did they have Infamous was, 2? Infamous, was, was that a launch? You know, I want to no, say that maybe no. it was February. Mm-hmm. Second like, Son was not a launch title. No, you're right. Because when I got it, I played... Knack play? was the was their launch title. I, yeah, their I first person, Their first party one. I played... I remember I played Flower because I had never played it before oh. and it was free. What, didn't they have a... Wasn't a... Um, but that wasn't a... Kill zone, yeah. Didn't they have a kill zone? They did, but I never played Gorilla, it. Wait, not Gorilla. Yeah, Gorilla Games made it. it was like the kill zone. That's Assassin's Creed. No, that's PSP. Kill zone. Was it just a straight kill zone four? No, it had a name. Annihil? No, I don't remember. I can't remember. It was something generic. Yeah, um, but yeah, like there wasn't a ton of Shadowfall. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, Rezo Gun. I played some Rezo Gun at PS4 launch, and that was okay. 
PS3 launch was even pretty weak too. Motorstorm was like one of the games on there. Resistance Fall of Man. Um, I like Resistance. It was fine. Yeah. Um, I I I had a good time with it when I played it, but it was you know I would. It's, it wasn't going to be a top game of that generation. That's for sure. 360 launch wasn't great. That was one game. It was Perfect Dark. Oh, yeah, Perfect Dark, Dark Zero. Worth, yeah, worth coming out. Yeah. Mm. Hey, don't don't sleep on Rockstar Table Tennis. What was that did launch? We play? I think so. I don't know if it was. Yeah. We played maybe it was. Something. Maybe it was. I don't remember the 360 launch, but I remember we we got one and we played something like all night, but now I don't remember what it was. So what I'm saying is, and as we talk about this historically, uh, console launches are it weak. It was not. It was close. Oh, it, really? was, it was the spring of the I next think year. So. I remember the two games I played right away were NBA Live 06 and uh, Perfect Dark. Halo 1 on played. the Xbox was a pretty big. But then you look at like the PS2 and you're probably like, Madden. Madden was the big game. Peter uh, Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. <laughs> yep, I remember. <laughs> that game's actually not that bad. <laughs> so as we go into mm. these new systems, it'll be interesting, but I think we'll have hopefully some room to finish up some of those bigger games from the early part of the year. Yeah. Uh, as these new consoles come out, people will probably be playing the older, how do I say this? They'll be playing the backwards compatible versions of the, those games on their new systems, mostly. I would imagine. The trick will be is will they have like just different like texture packages and stuff like that? Yeah. Or are they the same? Tekken Tag Tournament was a PS2 launch game. Was it? Not two, but Tekken Tag Tournament was. Oh, one. Yeah, one yeah, was. Okay, yeah, yeah, one. Sure. One was a launch game, which is a great game. Um, that would probably be one of the best ones I've seen, I'm seeing on these lists, at least of. Um, but yeah, yeah. Console launches are hard. So, video games are hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nintendo is probably the one who does it well. They at least put out a, a banger of a of a launch yeah, title. Luigi's Mansion was really. <laughs> <laughs> was that, was that I, it for GameCube? I think that might have been it for game. But, but you got Wii was Wii Sports, which is yeah. the best selling game of all time. And then we got Breath of the Wild with the Switch. So, yeah, they tend to do a pretty good job. Cause I don't know what was on Wii U. Probably nothing. Uh, it wasn't like New Super Mario or something, was it? It was... There was a bunch of ports. There was like a Mass Effect port and a Batman port. And mm. I'm just looking at the um, GameCube. Oh, geez, I've got every single one of them. All the Nintendo... Uh, Super Ni- Oh, let's see what Super Nintendo was. Funky Barn was Wii U. Okay, this website sucks. Yeah, there was yeah, Mario World, obviously, was Super Nintendo. <laughs> F-Zero Pilot Wings. <laughs> okay, I don't care about the Game Boy Color. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, Crazy Taxi was on the GameCube. Mm. I do remember playing that. Yeah, but that was that had been out on a bunch of other stuff before. It had been on um, uh, Dreamcast, yeah. Uh, too. Yeah, that was a um, and arcades. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was more of an arcade game before it was anything else. I like Rogue Squadron. I never played Rogue Squadron. Rogue Squadron was good. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Um, Wave Race. You know the big the big bangers of those. Oh, they don't even include the Wii U. They just stop at the Wii, <laughs> which is probably right. Wii. Wii. All right. Anybody have anything else? All right. What are you guys' plans for the rest of 2019 as far as gaming? Playing anything? Catching up on TV? I think catching up on TV more than anything. Games for me, for sure. What games are you going to be playing? Mortal Kombat 11. (laughs) Okay, are you going to play the story mode in Mortal Kombat 11? Probably not. God damn it. (laughs) Um, Well, we need to finish Gears at some point. I might, yeah. uh, Let's finish Gears. Gears of of War, I want to finish. Sorry, Gears 5. Uh, I want to finish that. I want to. I want to give Days Gone maybe another shake. I want to play a lot more MK11, um, and uh, something else. I want to revisit The Witcher. Maybe I can't play all those things. I just want to play. Um, possibly go back to Sekiro. Possibly. So that's it's in my car if you would like it. That's, that's <laughs> Let's do back today though. <laughs> then no uh, thanks. No thanks. Um, 
the I, yeah, I think the only other thing for me, which is sad, but I'm going to play through Kingdom Hearts 3 again on PlayStation <laughs> because the DLC comes out earlier Oh, on PlayStation. Isn't it only like two days? No, it's a month. Oh, it's a month. And okay. that would mean it comes out on February 28th, which uh. is five days before Final Fantasy. So that I'm, I need to play. You're it. not going to have any trouble going through that game again. No, I probably won't. Uh, actually, my my daughter wants to play through it. So now she wants. She played a little bit last time, but not a ton. Um, so maybe I'll just set it to. It's not even that hard of a game. She'd be fine. No. Um, and just have her play it, and we'll play the parts here and there, and we'll bang it out pretty quick. I, I finished it in three days before, so this isn't like it's a big deal. Yeah. I just want to. I want to finish Borderlands Three. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I have, I still have Catherine full body, and uh, Metal Wolf Chaos. I can't do Catherine ever again. <laughs> I love Catherine. And then you guys kind of got me in the mood to. Uh, you guys were talking about Mario sixty four the other night. Oh yeah, and now I kind of want to play that because <laughs> I've pl- I've played it a million times. I've never finished it. So really, yeah. Oh. Well, you, haven't uh, spun, you haven't swung Bowser is, around by his tail? And for, for, the, for the guy that loves collectathons, that seems like, why have I not done this? Yeah, you got to get all 120 stars. Yeah. Man, real good game. Real yeah, good game. If it had come out during this portion of our podcast life, Odyssey, see you later. 64 Zen. <laughs> 64 Zen. Sunshine. In fact, if they re release 64 on Switch, it's eligible. They release it on Switch? No, they sure haven't. they did. <laughs> Whatever to get Odyssey off the list. No. No. Odyssey's great. It is good. I like it. Okay. All right. Well, good done. job, guys. Yeah, we did it. Well we done. It. Good day of podcasting. 2019 games. 2020 more games. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we'll be back when 2020 has games to play. Bye.